Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL580 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on RAID. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL580 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll stop in. This video will be specifically dedicated to RAID. So what we're gonna do in this video as a whole is we are gonna put up a chart to start that's gonna show you the different types of compatible RAIDs and it's gonna compare the different specs. So it's gonna show you the cache, if it's hardware, if it's software, the PCIe gen, plus a bunch more. And then we're gonna show you how to physically install your RAID. And at the end, we're gonna show you how to configure RAID. So yes, there's gonna be a lot going on in this video. Let's hop into the good stuff. All right, so we're gonna start by putting up a compatibility chart right here that's going to show you the different types of RAID. The first thing that I wanted to note is that if you go to HPE's quick spec sheet, it's going to uh, not show that the P840 is compatible when in fact the P840 is compatible. So that's one that we have added on to the chart to let you know that it is compatible. So now you, if you want, just pause it here. You can read all the different specs. No point in me reading them to you. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and show you exactly how to install it. So one other thing that I did want to note is that if you are installing a PCIe card for your RAID and you are not using the embedded RAID, then you need to make sure to disable the embedded RAID. So what you're gonna do is boot up your server, press F9, go to system utilities. In the system utilities, you're going to click system configuration configuration. You're going to click on the BIOS platform configuration, RBSU. Scroll down to PCI device enable disable. Click on it. Scroll down to embedded storage. Choose to disable or enable depending on what you need. Press F10 to save the settings and reboot your server and then you're good to go. But just wanted to note that if you are installing a PCIe card, you will need to disable the embedded RAID first and that'll be the steps that you go through to do that. All right, have my ASD gear on. We're safe to handle our parts and work on the machine. So we're gonna take our P840, just set it to the side here. We're gonna pop our latch and lift our top off just like any server you've really ever been in before. So you'll note we've already got some network cards in here. Uh, so we're gonna be installing it into the very first PCIe slot. And if you haven't been uh, following our series, you'll, you'll note uh, in the network card video that we went over, there are nine PCIe slots. So we're gonna actually be putting it in uh, slot nine over here. So that's where we're gonna install it. So first thing we need to do is to remove the current bracket that's installed. So there's a little blue button that might be hard to see on camera. We're just gonna push it in. And when you do that, this will open up like a hinge almost, and this will just come right off. You'll see this can turn up and down. And when we do that, we're gonna need to remove the current bracket or the filler here that uh, we definitely recommend to use these. These are good for just keeping debris out and having good airflow uh, for your servers. But we're gonna need to remove that to be able to install our card in the current bracket. All right, so we're gonna start with our card. First thing we're gonna put in is the tip and then our green PCB and the leads all again need to be lined up and we're just gonna make sure that this is lined up properly. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy in to start. So first things first, let's just get our tip in there. And then everything's lined up and just put it in. So it's pretty simple overall. I always like to double check that I don't see any gold exposed from the leads and that everything's lined up, but everything is in nice and flush. And then once I get it in, we're just going to like a hinge again, lock this back into place and now it is locked in. So what we need to do now is install the actual cables. So the blue cable is gonna go on the bottom. So it just clicks into place. And what I'll end up doing with this is I'll need to get uh, a zip tie to uh, tie this together just to make it a little bit flusher and cleaner in here. But we're just going to take this and clip this into place. And then I will just zip tie this so that there's not a bunch of cables laying around. But that's essentially how you install your RAID. So what we're going to do now is show you how to configure RAID 5. And we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions with screen captures and everything. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure RAID Specifically in this video, we're gonna be configuring RAID 1, but if you wanted to configure RAID 5, the steps shown in this video are going to be very similar. I would also like to mention that if you are configuring a different RAID level, such as RAID 5, you will have a different minimum drive requirement. RAID 5, for instance, is going to utilize three drives or more, while RAID 1 is going to use two drives. So depending on what RAID level you wanna go ahead and move along with, just go ahead and research what requirements there are. But if you wanna go ahead and follow along with us to configure RAID 1, 
you just need to install two drives of the same capacity into your server. And then once you've done that, we're all good to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and power on your server. And during post, you wanna press F10. Once the menu loads, we wanna go ahead and click on HPE Smart Storage Administrator. Doing so, we're going to be loaded into the Smart Storage Administrator menu. So it may take a few minutes till it loads fully. So while we wait, we're just gonna go ahead and fast forward and then we'll go ahead and pick it back up. Once the menu is loaded, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see where it says Array Controllers, and then we can see our Smart HBA H240AR. This is the RAID controller that we currently have installed. If you have another one installed, it will show a different name. But we're gonna go ahead and click on the RAID controller that we want to use. Once we click on that, a menu is going to pop up on the right-hand side. We wanna go ahead and click on this configure button. Afterwards, we'll have a few more options pop up. So we wanna click on this option that is at the very top that says create array. And then here you will see all the drives that we have installed on our server. We have two 160 gigabyte SATA SSDs that we're going to be using. We want our RAID array to span across these two drives. So we wanna click on this checkbox that says select all. And then once our drives are selected, we wanna to go to, to the bottom right and click on create array. So this screen will pull up a few more options. As you can see at the very top where it says RAID level, we can go ahead and pick between RAID 0 and 1. We're gonna go ahead and leave it selected at 1. And then we're gonna go ahead and leave everything selected as is. And then we can go ahead and click on create logical drive. Next, it'll ask us if we want to continue. So we can just go ahead and click on yes. And then now we can just go ahead and click on finish. Now, if we go ahead and look on the left-hand side of the screen, we can see where it says logical devices, and we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And in here, it's gonna go ahead and show us our RAID array. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reboot our server. So we can click on this X in the top right-hand corner of the screen, and then it'll ask us if we're sure that we want to exit the application. So we're gonna click on OK. And then now we can press this power button that is on the top right of the screen. And then we're going to click reboot. And that's it. We have successfully created a RAID array with our newly installed RAID controller. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to do this with a different RAID level, you can follow the same exact steps and you should be able to do so. Just make sure you do the research on how many drives you need for your desired RAID level and you should be good to go. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like. And if you're looking to purchase a custom built server, we have HP, Dell, Supermicro, IBM, and Cisco in stock. And if you just want to purchase individual components such as CPUs, memory, hard drives, solid state drives, RAID controllers, network cards, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thanks for stopping by.